हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लज्जिया फार्मेसी लेट्स डिस्कस हाउ टू राइट पैथो क्वेश्चन पेपर और पैथो आंसर्स फॉर एनी क्वेश्चन व्हाट टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स यू हैव टू फॉलो सो दैट यू आर गोइंग टू पास इन योर पैथो फिजियोलॉजी एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज ऑफ योर सेकेंड सेमिस्टर बी फार्मेसी गाइज हंड्रेड परसेंट पासिंग गारंटी इफ यू प्रैक्टिस दीज पॉइंट्स सिंपल पॉइंट्स आर देर If you keep in mind these points, means you are going to pass your patho very easily. Many students think that this patho is very difficult subject, but no. If you follow some tricks, means definitely you are going to pass. First one, this apply for all questions of ten and five marks. Okay, then for two marks, wait for n. For two marks, what you have to do means I will tell you in this video. First of all, see describe. Etiology and pathogenesis of the angina pectoris. You take one question, any one question, or you take describe etiology and pathogenesis of the diabetes mellitus. First, what you have to do? First, you define this term. Which term? Angina pectoris or diabetes mellitus or any disease? Any disease you define in three or four lines. That's very important. After definition, you go for classification you have to classify this disease some diseases they won't have any classification but majority more than 60% diseases having the classification for an example diabetes mellitus there you will get majorly three classification type 1 type 2 gestational so this type classification you have to make liver damage in that liver cirrhosis fibrosis okay this type of the classification you classify this and if they ask for 5 marks or 10 marks with classification you have to define that term what is this type 1 diabetes what is that type 2 diabetes this type you have to define in 5 and 10 marks in 2 marks no need just to classify those next one guys etiology is very important etiology means causes after writing this classification you write down the causes causes or etiology both are same next is a signs and symptoms in this signs and symptoms what you have to follow means guys all the signs and symptoms see among them major sign major sign and symptom is what is the major sign so you go for the diabetes mellitus their frequent urination is the major sign in diabetes patient okay then uh, complicated to the means they are having uh, some major heartbeat problems okay and they are having abdominal pains okay and they are having the pain in the feet or neuropathic pain these are some important signs and symptoms okay you remember these signs and symptoms maximum headache these all maximum headache shoulder pain back pain these all signs and symptoms are same for maximum diseases next one is uh, you go for pathogenesis or pathophysiology now in pathogenesis or pathophysiology you have to write down in a chart way okay explain in a chart way so that you will get good marks after writing the chart you explain that that chart only hmm. always write pathogenesis in a chart form don't write blindly don't write like a paragraph you make chart okay you make beautiful chart so that chart gives you good marks after that guys you go for this uh, complications and treatment okay complication and treatment complications see major complications are same here like increase in heartbeat leads to the kidney diseases leads to the liver diseases leads to brain trauma treatment if you know the treatment means you can write okay see in question what they ask they are not ask anything just they ask what they ask describe etiology and pathogenesis but what you wrote here you wrote definition classification etiology signs and symptoms then you wrote pathogenesis then you wrote complication yeah this pattern only you have to follow in the exam if you follow this pattern then only you are going to get a good marks then only you are going to pass your exam keep in mind these all things guys if you like our video if you like our content subscribe let's jump pharmacy thank you and remember yes uh, two marks question two marks question you refer from the question papers that is from question paper 2021 to question paper 2023 from these hardly you will get 20 questions for two marks you practice only those from that definitely you are going to click six to seven questions that easily you are moving for 12 to 14 marks thank you